Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about the 10 A's of amazing Salah. And those 10 A's, if you do them, will improve your life, both in terms of the Salah and your conduct and your general demeanor outside Salah. As a doctor, the difference between my job and many other jobs was that I had people in front of me. There was no time for fancy theories which had no basis where the patient might return to me completely unchanged, unimproved. I've spent a lot of time researching this particular video. By the end of this session, I would anticipate, inshallah, that your life will be improved in a number of ways if you do even half of the things that I suggest here. If you don't get it right, don't worry, it takes time. You're going to prove it to me yourself, and you can hold me to account by measuring how much you improve. Note how you're doing at the moment and note how you improve on how simple mental technique can improve the way people pray their Salah and actually improve tangible things in their life outside Salah. Let's make this happen. Here is the list of things in which your life should improve. Number one, you will enjoy Salah more. Number two, if you're not praying five times a day, you will pray Salah more frequently. Number three, you will get up on time for Fajr more easily and your timings of Salah in general will improve. Number four, you will spend longer in Salah and you will be more complete. If you've been skipping your Nafils or Sunnas, you will be praying these more fully. Number five, you will be looking forward to the next time you pray Salah. Outside your actual Salah, you will feel more alert in the day. You will find that the quality of your memory, both your short-term and long-term memory, will improve. Your anxiety will diminish and your general sense of well-being, that inner sense of being okay, will improve. Your ability to solve problems, particularly complex problems, those difficult ones that take time or aren't easily solved, that will improve. Your ability to deal with others in difficult situations will also improve. So, in the last video we looked at the theory of how to be more immersed in your Salah and how to enjoy it further. So let's sum up the 10 A's to begin with in this picture. They are, in turn, anticipation, anticipating the experience of Salah properly, acknowledgement, being alert to the reality of Allah and preparation for Salah, agenda, having an agenda for how you're going to mentally approach the Salah and engage in conversation with Allah, akhlaq, bringing forth your finest character to display during Salah, Appreciation, appreciating and showing gratitude for things, both before and during Salah. Acceptance, accepting, admitting and submitting yourself during Salah. Asking, asking for the right things and in the right way. Auto-sensing, an auto-sensory experience where you are in touch with your body and slowing down the major functions to bring yourself to a state of calmness. Amazement and awe, experiencing awe of Allah and his creation. And finally, adding to the experience by being with other people when you pray Salah. So let's take these things one by one. Anticipation works by imagining Salah to be a place that is very special. You need to imagine Salah as a place that you have a privileged access to, a bit like a sanctuary or a very expensive retreat. After all, how many retreats offer you a direct line to God? If you think about it this way, it seems odd how ordinary we regard Salah in daily life. Supposing you had a dignitary visiting and you had an audience with them. How would you feel? How would you anticipate the day going? You'd be choosing your best clothes, you'd be on your best behavior, you'd try not to say anything foolish. Think of Salah as a similar experience. The closest you are going to get to Allah on earth is when you are in Salah, an exclusive audience with the creation of all mankind. It should really create a sense of anticipatory excitement. Allah actually is really looking forward to seeing you. He regards you very positively. He respects you and he treasures you. Everybody wants to be with somebody who regards them positively. Anticipate that sense of being received by a very, very important entity who loves being around you. 
Alertness is a state where you increase the sense of how you feel that Allah is around you. When you acknowledge yourself in the here and now, the world around you is a gift. Allah is written large everywhere around you. He is closer to you than your jugular vein. The creator of all mankind is waiting for you to speak to him. Be alert to that. The third A is agenda. And that means to prepare for the things that you're going to speak to Allah about. Not only the surah, but in terms of your attitude and your expectations for how you're going to converse with your maker. Allah likes you to talk. Speak to him. What's bothering you? What's worrying you? What are you pleased about? What do you want to thank me for? What do you appreciate? What's going on? Allah has given you the keys to heaven and you are opening the door when you're praying salah. And he's actually demanding that you go there, demanding cheese for you to grow. Be grateful that this is the best life you could have because you have actually asked Allah, please make my life the best for me and the best outcomes for those I love. The sixth A is acceptance, submission and admission. When you accept and submit to Allah, you are living out the meaning of the word Muslim, somebody who has achieved peace through submission. Islam itself is invested in this idea of confession, admission and acceptance. When you accept things, as I've said many times, you make peace with the things you can't change. You acknowledge your faults and you know that Allah sees them. He's not expecting you to overcome the things that you simply cannot. He will not let you go through difficulties you can't bear. So you can only be thankful and accepting of the lot that you do have. I hope, inshallah, you're really getting a sense of how, of how this is meant to work. We'll continue this in the next video, but in the meantime, please give us a subscribe, give us a like, give us comments, and be sure to buy the books if you haven't, and make us a small donation, even a dollar or two, to help us with our project to make mental health accessible to all of the ummah. Look forward to making the next video for you to complete the 10 A's of Amazing Salah, inshallah. Wassalam.